helping your wife is a church. It's the sunnah of the Prophet If you do that, definitely you are going to get it. You need to start with being medically fit, especially if you have a health condition. I lock up myself in a restroom and I gorge myself with a bottle of a drink. Who's gonna know I did that? Nobody. But then I don't do that. To engage yourself in charity, it cleanses the soul. What do you think about our nan bread at Chicken Kebab? Beautiful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to another captivating edition of Ramadan with Hollandia, a show dedicated to shedding light on daily topics, tackling Ramadan related challenges, and of course, sharing yummy and simple recipes for you to explore during this month of Ramadan. I am your host, Asma Gambo. Our topic of discussion today is making the best of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is a time when many of us take time to reflect, improve ourselves, and of course, deepen our devotion. Today, let's explore some of the ways to make the most of this special month. I have here with me Zainab Lowell to discuss this topic. Zainab, barakatuzwa. Barakatuzwa. How are you doing, Ya Azami? To Alhamdulillah, Gashina Munatai. Masha Allah. So, in your perspective, what are the key spiritual goals that a Muslim should aim for this Ramadan? During Ramadan, every Ramadan. Okay. Well, I think the main goal is to build your relationship stronger with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No. Ramadan is the time to increase your ibadah hmm. by praying by reciting the Holy Quran, by helping out the needies, and also by engaging in prayers such as Tarawih prayer, and also by engaging in supplication. Mm. Yes. And also, every Muslim identify his, mix, his mistakes mm. and ask Allah for forgiveness, forgiveness. during this holy month mm. in order to become a better version of themselves. Mm. And for that, you need to be patient, honesty mm -hmm. and forgiving it's key. It's key. yes yeah and also we need to seek the we need to seek Layla to look at her the night of power nice yes Layla to look at her is the night of power, power. okay yeah. so speaking about um now you I, I i from all of the goals that you are you mentioned here right so how can you make these goals realistic how can one achieve you know to be able to achieve these goals set for themselves during Ramadan, what are the steps? Okay, the first step is you need to be realistic in whatever you're doing. Yeah. You can't force things that you know you can't do it. Mm. There's no way you can force things. For example, let me give for example. Um, every day is akikao akina azimikina kao izudea. And you feel your friend tana sauke izu tana sauke izu gum and you feel that you can do it, yes. which you can't. Maybe all one kubat ere itaba. So there's no way you can compare yourself with people that you think you can have a competition with, with. them. Mm -hmm. There is no way. So you need to be realistic in whatever you're doing. Mm. If it's one, um, if you whatever you're able to do, just limit yourself to that. Of course, you can push yourself, you know, to do more by uh, getting motivated with what 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 others are doing but yes set realistic goals yes. for like you mentioned now for the recitation okay so and other things now what would you advise okay. self reflection mm -hmm. um you need to know your aim your goals where you think uh, your weak point is which you think you want to improve mm -hmm. more yes um i think it's one of the main issues that people need to like be focusing in this Ramadan, that like, um, for instance, let's say your neighbor mm. is giving out charity no. to people that mm. are in need. For example, he cooks very delicious food, for example, mm. and you feel you need to also do the same just as he's doing. Maybe he puts chicken, plantain and all, mm. and you feel you can also do it. Some people even tend to kachibashi just to please people, which is not right. I don't think it's right. It's actually not right. Yes. Mm. So we need to be we need to be realistic mm. in whatever we're doing, and 
do the right thing at the right time. Mm, okay. So how do you think people can stay committed to these goals that they set for themselves? Um, by seeking support. Mm. What I mean by seeking support is that you should surround yourself with people that will motivate and encourage you, maybe friends or families. For example, um, for instance, you have the intention of going to Tafsir or Asham no. and you went to your friend, maybe you want to take her along mm. and she, she doesn't have the she doesn't have the zeal to go. Mm. So she might corrupt your mind by saying Shar, I have, you. thank you by discouraging you and uh, saying ah let me just you on something. Mm -hmm. So we can get a and zua. It's about to just our knowledge, but mm. it's time wasting time in for nothing. So what you're trying to say is to keep the right circle, right? Yes. So but, uh, um, you go, you stay around people that encourage you to do good, encourage you, motivate you to do good always. Yeah. MashaAllah, those are excellent points. What to either do, but when you come, you bits, you plan and come, you bits that are you come, you bishi that is a mama fita. I'm going to take you over to our kitchen corner right now. Let's see what they have there. Welcome back from our kitchen. Zainab, what did you think about one of the chicken wings? Uh? Well, seriously, I think it looks so lovely mm -hmm. and I really can't wait to try it for the fact that, yeah, I love chicken. Everyone knows that in my family, I, I love, love wings chicken. as well. Yeah, I love chicken wings, especially. I really can't wait to, to try this. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So many Muslims struggle during the holy month due to various reasons such as work, business and other responsibilities that could be distracting and make us forget to set priorities but with proper time management and intention one can find a balance so Zainab let's go back to our discussions now okay. what strategies do you think people can put in place to ensure that our daily responsibilities does not overshadow our spiritual obligations so let me speak for myself here. I schedule everything I do every day mm. for my work to get easier. Yes. And also, you know, sometimes household, house activities mm. might um, take away your time before you know it. And sometimes I keep it And let me remind you, Ramadan, so So we need to use this opportunity to do what's right. Mm. Also, some families doesn't have, especially housewives mm -hmm. mostly, um, when they enter kitchen, they don't even come out, especially um, and expect you, except they want to pray. Mm -hmm. And after that, you need every Muslim is needed to sit down after, especially around Asr prayer. You need to sit down, do some zikr, mm -hmm. some supplications. Around that time, I can't remember. 
And also, they feel that that time they need to be in the kitchen. They need to be in the kitchen yes. preparing for iftar. Instead of use, utilizing that time to make more zikr, more um, azkar and supplication. Yes. But at the same time, you can join the two. For example, while doing some house chores, you can just put some Quran recitation. Yeah. While listening to Quran recitation, you're still working. Mm. And yes, secondly, I want to talk about um, limit screen time. Mm. This phone that we're using is really, really consuming most of our time. Yeah. I don't know why people, for example, I'm not even talking about phone alone, TV mm -hmm. as well. It's like you guys, sometimes people will sit down to watch film two to three hours, series, um, Z-Wall, watching films anyhow. But that time is the right time for us to use and do some supplication. So Zainab, I'm glad you mentioned all of these activities that um, you know you do at home. And of course, it's um, within the home with the family, of course. So how can families, how do you think the families can come together to make the most of this month? Well, I can say by having iftar together as a family no. and also by sharing house chores. Mm. For example, we're both working in the kitchen and suddenly the pre uh, it's prayer time. So you, I can assign my sister to like help me. Let me go and pray and mm. come back. Mm. While I'm back, she can go and mm. pray as well. Especially so, when you're frying. Some, yes, some, you need to stay steak. there. You don't want it to, to, to turn black. Exactly, brown yes. Come back. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't let the house activity Mm -hmm. um, take off your mind from doing your ibadah. Mm -hmm. So you can share house chores mm -hmm. with each other. Someone can help you set the table. Yeah. Someone can help you um, fry the chips. Mm -hmm. And that's how you finish and have an iftar together as well. And you can also pray together after that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can pray together. Maybe like Asham or Tarawi prayer. You can pray together as well. And also... You can sit down and like crack jokes among yourself. It brings pleasure and fun. So it's one of the it's one of the best thing that parents need to like sit down and talk about. Need to see this and improve in some ways. In essence, what you're saying is that it is very important for family to do things together so that it would strengthen their bond. Um, they get to motivate each other to stay on the positive side. Awesome. It is quite interesting to know that a lot can be achieved during the month of Ramadan if we plan properly and make use of the available resources around us. Before we end the show, let's quickly take our last segment, which is the Did You Know segment. Did you know that Hollandia UHT milk is a favorite amongst bakers and chefs for their creamy, yummy recipes? The milk complements a variety of dishes, pastries, smoothies, and milkshakes. Thank you so much, Saina, for those wonderful insights. You're welcome. And that brings us to the end of the show. But before we go, Zana, I have a gift for you. Oh wow! Okay. So ga one like a company in Holland, yeah. Wow, one and do you need to get Yes. Wow, ga you HT milk then achiki. Yes. Full package. Wow! Thank you so yeah. much. I'm really welcome. happy. You're welcome. Thank you so much. To jama'a. I'll see you again next time. I remain your host, Aswagambo. Gumbo.